Hello, everybody. Salty Sweet Ren here, back with another episode of Wildermyth, following the Guardians of Wyvern Song as they continue on their adventure. And the party has actually been split. Uh, while uh, Garland and Talip are busy um, helping to train Helmden and Beth over near the Tavian Gasworks, um, Hunhand, Bryson, and Arkeen are all going over to Nine Havens to build a bridge to get to Nender's Bottoms. Which hopefully will go okay. Uh, but these guys. Uh, have I actually hit secure Tavian Gasworks yet? No, I have not. So, don't like the enemy of sit. Don't like the idea of sitting here in a place our enemies still called home, or have called home. So, of course, we're going to find an item, because it's better. It's better to have items. Okay, so... These guys are going to be done with that, so... The site is safe, and knowledge has been gained. And what do we find? An ingot and three spell threads. And we have a sash of rhythm. Gives plus 0.3 speed. Um, hmm. I feel like um, it might be good for Talip because his speed is kind of down since he got the crystal. Or was it him or was it... Am I thinking of something completely different? Um, let's see. Um, actually might be good for a warrior. Let's see, Hewn Hand has pretty poor speed compared to the others. So he's not able to actually get into the fray as easily as the other. So let's go ahead and give him the Sash of Rhythm. So you go ahead and claim that, buddy. Then you guys come over and scout this tile. You guys are getting closer to the Nender's Bottoms over here. In the meantime, these guys have finished. My cat just came into the room. My other cat is rolling around on the table. Um, so you guys, do I want, do I want to send you guys to investigate this? Or do I want to send my others, Garland and Talip, to help Helmden and Beth to level up? Beth is, Beth is still just level one. I kind of, hmm, I kind of just want to have these three kind of hanging out for a little bit, actually. Worlds apart. So we've got uh, Beth and Helmden. Oh, sorry, kitty. Okay, so what does Beth see? Um, what's wrong? I sense magic. More thoggy? No, this feels more like something is lingering. Come on. It's this way. I'm getting so distracted by my cats who are in the room. So, sorry about that. What is it? It's an overgrown mess. That's what it is. Help me uncover it. What is it? Oh, it's a fountain. There we go. Ah, that's a nice, strong font. What a rush. What are you talking about? We just pulled some weeds. I don't feel anything. It's a font of spell thread. It... It feels like some... It feels like someone is pouring honeyed sunlight woven with strands of fire through my body. Spell threads. That's the stuff that uh, we keep finding in some places. So... Honeyed sunlight? Yes! Sunlight and starshine! While at the same time, it's an unfurling to the world around you. To the spirit of a place or thing. Objects have spirits? Well, not like conscious ones. It's more that we're connected to everything. Spell thread woven between all of reality. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Sometimes I feel like there's an entire world that I'm missing. That's how I feel when you talk about tactics or what happens when you touch it. What does happen when you touch it? I am curious. Let's touch it. Let's poke it and see what happens. Well, 
Well, I don't know. I've always sort of worked with the energies from afar. Let's find out. <laughs> yes, let's find out. So just kind of, kind of awkwardly jump up onto the fountain. Whoa! Oof. What? What? Hang on, what? Is he blue? Are you okay, Helmden? I... Yes, I'm okay. He's blue! How'd that happen? Okay. <laughs> I think this is actually kind of interesting. Like, first thought is... His... Uh, his uh, his mom is completely fire-based, while he touched water and turned blue. Like, they're gonna be opposites. That's kind of interesting. Wow. Like, honey and sunlight. And fire. And I feel... Connected? Yes, exactly! To everything around me! Huh. Th is this gonna- what kind of- what is this gonna do? Or is there even a me? Am I not the same as that tree? As that... Come on, Helmden! We can chat about this on the road! Huh. Well, regardless... I'm gonna send these guys to go and scout this tile. Not you. And not you, or... Hang on, who who all? Uh, Talip. Okay, Talip. Uh, Beth. Okay. These guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put you right there, I think. Let's go, and everyone else is going to come and scout out. Or, let's see, we can put, um, a Hunter's Blind can provide heartwoods and hides. Is there a way to see what I have so far? Like, what items I could... I need more of? I don't think there is. Um, we could do heartwoods and hides, two heartwoods. We get, we get a lot of spell threads. Let's do heartwoods and hides, I think. So, while these guys are going around over here, these guys are gonna go and scout out Nender's Bottoms. Oh, goody! The Calamities, uh, we can cancel... This one, I feel like. Or actually, more, more armor is a little scarier. Because that means they're harder to hit. And we'll cancel the Batch B as well. These guys I don't particularly care about as much. They're not as worrying to me. Maybe the maybe the Draven are starting to get a little worrying, but I'll go ahead and see. Okay, and their bonus has been revealed. Let's go ahead and assault it and see what happens. One false step. Here's a thought. Maybe Shade Boast isn't as dangerous as we believed. Huh? Uh, what? He just crashed through what? Huh? Where'd Talip? Down here! Talip's step has broken the hidden covering of a hunting pit, and he's fallen scuffing and scraping into a dark, rocky hole. Talip! You survive okay, Talip? How far down are you? Oh, far enough. Is this where I'll die? I mean, I could have died from just from the fall, couldn't I? I'm never leaving my house again. Oh, Talip. I feel bad for him. All, all sorts of crazy stuff happens to him. We're close to where those things were spotted. If this is a trap, do we have time to help him? So, 71%. If Garland will go down and help, or we can do something methodical and safe. What is this one? What is this one, though, Garland? I'm curious. 71% makes me curious. Let's take a look. Let's see what this is. It doesn't take Garland long at all. He climbs nimbly down and helps Talib back to the top. And not a moment too soon. Oh. 
Simple. Okay. That was easy. I don't know if this is going to be the last battle of the chapter, actually, because this is the last Morthoggy site, I think. We all get one temporary hit point, and that's a lot of stuff. Okay. We can fight them. Oh, there's a leaf spirit we're going to have to chase after. Does anybody have a weapon that I want to infuse with anything? Helmed in. Is this your gear? Uh, you... You know what? Let's have you... Or actually, Beth, I'm gonna send you... No, Talip. I'm just getting everybody mixed up right now. Let's have you open the door. We can do a through shot of both of these batch bees. There we go. Helmed in. Uh, just jump up to the leaf spirit. How about... Let's get a leaf based... A leaf spirit? Are you alright, little one? Let's get a leaf based greatsword. I'm very curious to know what this will do. The water chain's shear. We can replace wilder edge with the water chain's shear. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the stunt effect will grant two temporary health to the hero. That's fun. Okay. Sorry, Helmden. And Garlin, you jump up over here and be a sentinel. In the meantime, Beth, you come over here so you can actually see inside. Uh, you can interfuse with the hammers and unleash a barrage on both of these. There we go. So, oh, there's a new spectic. Okay, um, hmm. Talip, I'm gonna get you inside here. Because there's not a whole ton of space. And just do a through shot through all three. You, Garlin, can come on in here and just bash this thing. There we go. Easy. You, come on in here. Interfuse with the coat rack. And splinter blast this thing. There we go. In the meantime, I can send you in here. And there we go! Everyone is doing so well, I love it! Oh. Oh, did the butler open the door? Is that what happened? I know there's some enemies that can now open doors. That is scary, and I think that is what happened, isn't it? Well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put you here. And... You know what? There we go. And hang on, who's your rival? Uh, Talip, your rival is Beth. Beth wants to do something, so... Okay, book stand, we can do a splinter blast. Like right here. There we go. Let's see, these spaces are being guarded. So if I put... Um... If I put Garland here and have him act as Sentinel... And I put you... Here and act as a Guardian... Hmm... Let's see what happens. Okay, Sommelier. Oh, what just happened? What? What? What is going on? Garland, you are... What is Garland doing? I love this! What? Is... I don't know what abilities that has been. Garland! Holy crap, Garland! Okay. <laughs> well. 
Garland just went completely nuts right there, but that's awesome. I love it. Okay, Helmden, maybe one day you'll get to be that powerful. Uh, you, Talip, come on over here and just shoot the Watchmen. Didn't work. Okay. Um, I feel like if I put Garland... The Watchman is probably is more of a long-range fighter rather than anything. Let's put Beth in here. Have her interfuse with uh, this bookshelf. And do a Bone Lance. There we go. She needed to get the kill at some point anyway. There we go. That was fun. Garland just went nuts. That was awesome to watch. Okay. Beth isn't getting as much experience. Okay, the Hawk Dancer. Uh, Talip. Hmm, it wouldn't be as good as Talip's current sword. Uh, Arkeen, maybe? No. Hmm. You know, let's actually replace Beth's wand with the Hawk Dancer, because I know that Beth is a little bit more aggressive than the traditional mystic. At least that's the way she always kind of came off to me. We're not gonna- actually, let's not replace the wand. Yeah, let's not replace the wand. Let's replace the Shade Tree Rattle. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, what's this? That which calls. In the days after the last battle, you can use the scrap. There's no curse on it. Perhaps things will quiet down for a while. Uh, what's that? Does the madness ever end? Does the madness never end? What do you think it is? I don't know, but we stopped taking these sorts of things lightly long ago. Oh good, a new calamity. Great, but now there's something new to investigate somewhere. So, um, once this place is secure... Um... Once this place is secure, let's find an item. And we'll get this job done. In the meantime, where? The Water John Foundry. This is the place that always seems to come back to. Okay. The Hunter's Blind has been established. The Nender Blind. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna send you guys to gather here. Arkeen, Hewnhand, and Bryson. Come and gather here? Okay. Since I found something, doesn't seem like it should go to me. I I love Beth. She's great. Okay, two hides, three spell threads. So many spell threads. The Gwelder Bracelet plus 0.7 health. Okay, it's going to one of the weaker people. Let's see, you have 7.8, 9.4, 8, 7... Uh, it is going to Beth because she has the least health. Okay, so who should be the next two people? So I know Bryson, okay, Bryson, Arkeen, and Hewnhand are already on their way to the Water John Foundry. I'm actually going to, um, let's see, who do I want? The final fight of the chapter. When this fight is over, the chapter will end. Make sure you're ready. Am I ready? I don't know. Um, let's see. Who do I want to be in this fight? I kind of... Well, let me actually invest... Before I make a decision. I want to see what this whole thing is with Helmsen. I didn't check it out yet. Your blue skin, your uh, spell touched... Blue skin. You have minus 0.5 bonus damage. Oh, that sucks. We have plus 2 potency. Uh, plus 5 recovery rate. And plus 10 retirement age. 
So you you recover faster and um let's see. I wanna see what, what was going on with Garland actually. Where are you? Sentinel Vigilance, you can do up to four reaction strikes per turn. That's insane, but it was great. Uh, you have plus three per plus thirty percent health. Broad swipes, you deal five damage to all other foes within range. So that's what was going on there. Dude, you are crazy. I love it. How did you get to be so crazy awesome, Garland? This is this is great. I love it. This is great. Okay, obviously, Garlin is going to be one of the people. Uh, Talib is pretty good. Arkeen is pretty good. Do I want Helmden or do I want... I kind of want Helmden to sit out this one. No, do I want Hand? I don't know. Let's have Bryson. We'll have four of the originals, and, hmm, do I want this? I kind of wonder if maybe I should have Talip sit out. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, Garland is going to be crazy awesome in this fight, no matter what. Beth could definitely use the experience. Do I want Hand to helm in or Talip? I just want Beth to get experience, which is the reason, like, I'm just hands down, yes, she is going to be doing this. So, Bryson, Arkeen, Garland, the three originals. Talip is kind of an original, not as much. Um, you know what, I'm going to put in Hewn Hand. And we'll see what happens. The others, I'm going to have... The others I'm going to have stop over by Jogania Outfitter. Telep and Helmden just to kind of follow along the trail and make sure everything's going safely, I suppose. Here they come. Okay. You guys... Just stay there. Everyone else is gonna go on their way to the Water John Foundry and a hollow return. The light had begun melting back to into the earth as they trudged through the Jedvokan forest. Oh, sure, after we bust our souls getting here, now you disappear? The light disappeared. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Isn't this around where Grimm's Forge is? Oh, that's right. This is the same place we keep going to meet with Grimm. And that's his forge, isn't it? What's going on? And the light's disappearing. What's the old badger gotten up to now? Thing is, he was already pretty ancient when they first met him. I wonder if, like, they even think he's still alive, or... Grim! You here? Hello? Are you okay? Grim? Is this gonna be the one more Thoggy? Or, I guess, is that a voice? Oh, that's all- that's a bunch of more Thoggy stuff. What do you think? Grim always did have an air of mystery. No sign of him inside. Boom. <sighs> Unless he's er uh, working on the roof. <sighs> Boom. I I'm not good at sound effects. But, oh, there's stuff from all over. He wanted to be more thoggy to go right or wrong. Oh no. Oh no. I am worried. 
Okay, there's a Worldling, Watchman, and a Spectic. And they're gonna just keep coming. That's what those red spots mean. If there's red spots, that means Morthogi are gonna just keep coming from those areas. How many are there? One, two, three. Oh boy. Uh, hmm, is anybody able to... Arkeen! Ah, oh, you're not close enough to open the door. Hmm. I want... Okay, I want Garland to sit over by the door. And do Sentinel just in case. Hewn Hand, get as close to the door as you can, and be a guardian. Arkeen, I actually have just recently found out I can actually turn the camera different directions, so that's fun. And I do want her to open the door, actually. There we go. And Cone of Fire will hit this thing. Nope, it will not. Okay. Bryson, get over here. Interfuse with... Ah. Interfuse with the mossy rocks. And let's see... So, protective shelf stones... Um, or discus is just powerful and awesome. Then Beth. Oh, let's have her go down over here. Uh, is there anything useful that she can interfuse with within viewing range? Not that I can see. I'll have her wait for now. Okay. Well, um... Beth, I'm gonna have you come over here and interfuse with the chair just in case. Hewn Hand is gonna open the door and act as a guardian. I totally screwed up with Garland, didn't I? I could have had him open the door. Huh. Well. Uh, let's see. You're a little too close to actually do proper damage. Let's do Sentinel for now. Let's see. Cone of Fire can still hit the Watchman. There we go. In the meantime, Bryson, come on out so you can interfuse with something new. That's right. You do have Spirit Blade. Let's interfuse with the cart. And do a rock sh a rock shield around yourself. Beth, in the meantime, you're gonna have hang out here. Okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. How am I supposed to kill all enemies? That's the goal: is to kill all an enemies. How am I supposed to do that when they're just going to keep coming? Yeah, look at that. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well. Hewn Hand, why don't you come over here and bash this thing. You come over here and shoot the Weldling. There we go. You... I don't think that you can reach the enemy from over here. So if I withdraw from the cart... But I were to instead interfuse with... A random chair that happens to be sitting out here for no apparent reason... In the meantime, you interfuse with these rocks. 
and launch a discus at the butler. There we go. Garland, anything out here for you, buddy? Not that I can see. Um... There it is. So I'll just do Sentinel for you, as well. Well, that one's too smart. Hmm. And you just constructed a sommelier, okay. Well. Uh, I feel like... Hmm. Can the Watchman attack from close up? I don't know, but Sentinel, I'm gonna do anyway. Let's see. I can put you here and you can attack the butler. Nope, it's blocked. Okay. Well, Arkeen can go ahead and shoot the wardrobe. You can launch a discus from... No, you cannot. You can do a splinter blast at it, though. Goodbye, wardrobe. You... Uh, why don't you withdraw from this chair? Because there's, there's nothing you can do with it. Come step over here and interfuse with the shrub. Okay. There we go. I knew the watchman was going to try and move. The batch bee tried to move. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Wild Grasp works. You... Uh, go ahead and just bash this thing, I suppose, because I don't know what else to do. I think those spots are gone where the enemies are coming from. Okay. You just strike the butler. That's a ton of damage. You just shoot. And you just... Interfuse and wild grass, I suppose. Okay. And then I guess just wait. I don't know what else to do. Okay. I'm gonna send you up in this direction, Bryson. Um, and actually, I'm gonna focus on Garland right now, because you're the one with the biggest problem right now. Hewn Hand, can you bash this thing? Just... No, you cannot, apparently. Beth, you can Wild Grasp this thing. There we go. Had to happen. Victory! Okay. So everyone gets... There we go. Beth finally has leveled up. I've been needing her to. Let's see. Earthshell Scarf plus five block. Um... Who do I want to give this to? How about Houndin? Additional block is pretty good for um, warriors, I feel like. And Beth has grown stronger. Uh, she can do arches, which is she bonds the earth and summons from seedling and silt a one tree that pins surrounding enemies. Earth Scribe, advanced interfusion abilities for stone and bones. I like that. It's very good for mythology stuff, I think. And ally, allies may wall, may wall with objects that she's interfused with. And interfused stones grant extra armor, warding, and temporary HP. We're doing more thoggy, and she was 
when we met her, wasn't she interested in, like, seeing, like, how you could use, like, a bunch of the enemy's stuff to work with? And she wants to interfuse... This will allow her to interfuse better with bone... with bone-related stuff. And you can use... she can use it to her advantage. I like the sound of Earth Scribes, let's go with that for her. Huh. Without a trace. They patrolled the surrounding forest for four more days. There were no, there were no more Thoggy sightings, but no sign of Grimm, either. I guess he really is just gone. Maybe it's time to go home. When else are we gonna get a better chance for a break? Hmm. Doesn't it bother you, though? All this nonsense, now here we are, entertaining the squirrels with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. If we wanted nothing to show, the last few years could have been a lot easier. Huh. Come on. Elmyarn isn't so far. What should we do when we get there? Collapse, probably. After that, who knows? I'm sure we'll come up with something. I guess... is that it, then? The calamities have gotten stronger. And... I think that might be it. Uh, can I actually save from here? Yes, I can. Okay. So, I am actually going to wrap this episode up here during another 14 years of peace. Uh, when I come back next episode, we'll start and see what happened during the years of peace, and then we'll probably go through, depending on how much time we have, a, like a battle or two, depending on whatever's going on in Chapter 4. But anyways, oh man. This was interesting. This was interesting for sure. So, if you guys enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can watch more of my videos when they come out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, friends.